So this video is going to look at capturing information about your estimate within the estimate details screen, as well as where to save files and add notes. So we've already started an estimate and this estimate details page, it can be really summed up by just saying it's a, a place to capture information about this quote. Up the top right is where we're going to start with work location. And I would argue this is the most significant thing on the page because this will define the site address. We use this for the delivery address on purchase orders. Um, we use it on invoices. We use it pretty much everywhere. And if you don't fill it out, um, you will have issues later on where you have blank boxes and you've got to keep filling them out. Common question is, what do I do if I've got like a lot number or an address that Google, when it pops up here, doesn't recognize? Not a big concern. Um, basically fill it out with the correct information. Google will uh, eventually just give up uh, because it doesn't find the, the address that you're, you're entering. And as long as you put the right address in and it shows correctly here, that's really all that matters. On the left hand side here, we've got estimate details. So you can edit uh, things like your quote number and the, the name, um, the type of build, a lot of the information that you set out uh, when you started the estimate. Down further, customer information. And we can have a separate address for the customer if we want. Um, so a good example might be where they uh, don't live on the vacant site, uh, if it's new build, or maybe you're doing landlord work and they are based elsewhere. As with most things build exact, the more you put in, the more you get out. Uh, so I'm going to fill this out so that my quote looks more filled out. And also I've got more information just about my client. Down further on the page, we've got notes and documents. And as with the lead section, if you've seen that already, this is really just a good spot to be capturing uh, information about the estimate. Anywhere you're adding notes, uh, if you are working on an estimate and there's more than just one of you um, doing the work, notes add context. So it's a great little opportunity to add a bit of teamwork and add a bit of context if other people are gonna be logging in and, and looking at the quote as well. Documents, you can add whatever you like. So really common ones for the estimate will be, uh, let's say permits, um, Notably, this is not where plans go, although you can load them here if you'd like. But the reason for pointing out that plans don't go here is mainly that uh, plans will be loaded into the next tab uh, if your intention is to be doing takeoffs from them. Final pointer here is uh, two things actually. With the documents area, because you can load Build Exact on your phone or tablet, um, you can use this to take a photo um, on, your, on your phone or tablet and drop it straight into the documents area. So a really common use we see for this is that people will be on site, they'll open Build Exact on their phone, take a picture and it drops into documents. And when they're back at the office, they've got the, the photos loaded here. Much better than taking them and having to email them all to yourself. Um, you can just snap pictures and drop them in here. Last point is this uh, lead details. So this goes hand in hand with the kind of chain of events up the top. So as you're moving around the software, it's told us, hey, first thing you did was create a customer, then you created the lead, and now you're in the estimate. This is basically just saying that this estimate is linked to this lead. And if it was blank, uh, it would also be the place that you would click to choose a lead uh, to link an estimate to. Great, so that's the estimate details screen.